Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Saltibarshii. Saltibarshii is a traditional Lithuanian cold beet soup made with beets, cucumbers, sour cream, and buttermilk. It's a refreshing and vibrant dish, particularly popular during the summer months. Saltibarshii, pronounced Shultibarshii, is a traditional Lithuanian dish that is also known as cold borscht or Lithuanian pink soup. It is a refreshing and vibrant summer soup that is made from beets, buttermilk or sour milk, cucumbers, dill, and other ingredients. The name Saltibarshii translates to cold borscht in English, referring to its chilled serving temperature. To prepare Saltibarshii, beets are boiled until tender, then peeled and grated. The grated beets are combined with buttermilk or sour milk, which gives the soup its characteristic pink color and tangy flavor. Chopped cucumbers, scallions, and fresh dill are added to the mixture, providing additional freshness and crunch. Some variations of saltibarshii also include boiled eggs, potatoes, or radishes. The soup is typically chilled in the refrigerator for a few hours to allow the flavors to meld together. It is often served cold, garnished with more fresh dill and accompanied by boiled potatoes or dark rye bread. The vibrant pink color and refreshing taste make saltibarshii a popular summer dish in Lithuania, enjoyed as a light meal or appetizer during hot weather. Saltibarshii is not only delicious but also nutritious. Beets are a great source of vitamins and minerals, while buttermilk or sour milk provides probiotics and calcium. Cucumbers add hydration and fiber, making the soup a healthy and cooling option in the summertime. Overall, saltibarshii is a unique and flavorful dish that represents the culinary heritage of Lithuania. If you have the opportunity to try it, I highly recommend experiencing this delightful cold soup. Kibinai. Kibinai are savory pastries filled with various ingredients such as minced meat, vegetables, and spices. They are typically baked and make for a satisfying street food snack. Kibinai are traditional Lithuanian pastries that originated from the Karaim ethnic group, who settled in the Trakai region of Lithuania centuries ago. These pastries have become a popular street food and a staple of Lithuanian cuisine. Kibinai are small, crescent-shaped pastries that are typically filled with a savory filling. The dough is made from flour, water, yeast, and sometimes milk or sour cream, resulting in a slightly flaky and soft texture. The filling traditionally consists of lamb or beef mixed with onions, although today you can find various fillings such as chicken, pork, vegetables, or even sweet fillings like apples or berries. To make kibinai, the dough is rolled out and cut into circles. A spoonful of the filling is placed on one side of the dough circle, and then the other side is folded over to form a crescent shape. The edges are crimped together to seal the filling inside. The pastries are then baked until golden brown and served warm. Kibinai are often enjoyed as a snack or a quick meal on the go. They are popular during festivals, fairs, and outdoor events in Lithuania, and you can also find them in bakeries, cafes, and restaurants throughout the country. In the Trakai region, which has a significant Karain population, Kibinai hold a special place in the culinary traditions and are considered a local specialty. The flavors and textures of Kibinai make them a satisfying and comforting treat. The combination of the flaky dough and flavorful filling creates a delightful contrast. Whether you're a meat lover or prefer vegetarian options, there's usually a Kibinai variation to suit your taste. If you ever have the chance to visit Lithuania or come across a Lithuanian bakery or restaurant, I recommend trying Kibinai to experience this delicious and beloved part of Lithuanian cuisine. Blainai Blainai are Lithuanian pancakes that can be enjoyed in both sweet and savory variations. 
Sweet blinai are typically served with jam or sour cream, while savory blinai can be filled with cheese, mushrooms, or meat. Blinai, also known as Lithuanian pancakes or blinis, are a popular dish in Lithuanian cuisine. They are thin, round pancakes made from a simple batter of flour, milk, eggs, and a pinch of salt. Blinai are versatile and can be enjoyed in both sweet and savory variations. To make blinai, the batter is prepared by whisking together the flour, milk, eggs, and salt until smooth. The consistency of the batter should be relatively thin, similar to that of crepe batter. A small amount of oil or butter is heated in a frying pan, and then a ladleful of batter is poured into the pan and swirled around to form a thin, even pancake. The blinai are cooked until golden brown on both sides, usually just for a couple of minutes per side. The choice of toppings or fillings for blinai is where the versatility comes in. For sweet blinai, you can spread them with jam, honey, fresh berries, or sweetened sour cream. Some popular sweet variations include blinai with blueberries or strawberries. Alternatively, for savory blinai, you can fill them with ingredients such as cheese, mushrooms, ham, or smoked salmon. Savory blinai are often served with sour cream or a savory sauce. Blinai are enjoyed as a breakfast or brunch dish, but they can also be served as a dessert or a snack. They are a comforting and satisfying option, whether you prefer them sweet or savory. In Lithuania, blinai are a part of traditional holiday celebrations and are commonly made and enjoyed by families. If you're interested in exploring Lithuanian cuisine, trying blinai is a must. They are relatively simple to make and can be customized to your taste preferences. Whether you opt for a sweet or savory variation, blinai are sure to delight your taste buds with their light and delicate texture. Cugulus Cugulus is a Lithuanian potato dish often described as a potato pudding or potato casserole. It is made with grated potatoes, eggs, onions, and bacon, and is typically served with sour cream. Cugulus is a traditional Lithuanian dish that can be described as a potato pudding or potato casserole. It is a hearty and flavorful dish that is often served as a main course or as a side dish during festive occasions or family gatherings. To make cugulus, the main ingredient is grated potatoes. The potatoes are typically peeled and coarsely grated, then combined with grated onions, eggs, flour, and sometimes bacon or other seasonings. The mixture is then seasoned with salt and pepper to taste and baked in the oven until golden brown and crispy on the outside. The texture of cugulus is moist and dense, similar to a potato cake. The exterior is crispy, while the interior remains soft and creamy. The flavors are savory and comforting, with the potatoes and onions providing a robust base. Cugulus is often served with sour cream or a dollop of applesauce, which adds a tangy or sweet element to complement the richness of the dish. In Lithuania, cugulus is a beloved traditional dish that is associated with celebrations and gatherings. It is considered a national dish and is especially popular during holidays like Christmas and Easter. Families often have their own cherished recipes passed down through generations with slight variations in ingredients or seasonings. Cugulus is a filling and satisfying dish that showcases the versatility of potatoes in Lithuanian cuisine. It is a comforting option that can be enjoyed year-round particularly during colder months. If you have the opportunity to try cugulus, I recommend experiencing this delicious and traditional Lithuanian specialty. Sakotis, Sakotis, also known as tree cake, is a traditional Lithuanian dessert. It is made by pouring batter onto a rotating spit and baking it until it forms a tall, cylindrical cake with a unique tree-like appearance. Sakotis, also known as regolis or tree cake, is a traditional Lithuanian dessert that is visually striking and has a unique texture. 
It is often served at special occasions such as weddings, birthdays, and holidays. Sakotis gets its name from the shape it is traditionally made in, which resembles a tree with branches. The batter for Sakotis is made from a mixture of eggs, flour, sugar, butter, and sometimes vanilla or other flavorings. The batter is poured onto a rotating spit or special Sakotis baking iron and then baked over an open fire or in a special oven. As the batter is poured and bakes, it forms thin layers that resemble the rings of a tree trunk. The process of making Sakotis requires skill and patience. The baker needs to continuously rotate the spit or baking iron, ensuring even heat distribution and allowing the layers to form. The outer layers become golden and crispy, while the inner layers remain moist and slightly chewy. The end result is a beautiful and delicious cake with a distinctive appearance. Sakotis has a caramelized and slightly sweet flavor, with a delicate and intricate texture due to the layers. It is often dusted with powdered sugar before serving to enhance its visual appeal. Sakotis is a cherished dessert in Lithuania and holds cultural significance. It is often seen as a symbol of celebration and abundance. Sharing a slice of Sakotis with loved ones is a joyful tradition. And it has become a beloved part of Lithuanian culinary heritage. If you have the opportunity to try Sakotis, I encourage you to do so. It is a unique and delightful dessert that showcases the artistry and craftsmanship of Lithuanian baking.